The following is a class on the Bhagavad Gita as it is. Thirteenth chapter, text number twenty-three. Given by His Divine Grace, A.C. Bhaktivedanta Swami Prabhupada. Recorded on October twenty-second, nineteen seventy-three, in Bombay, India. Translation. Yet in this body there is another, a transcendental enjoyer, who is the Lord, the Supreme Proprietor, who exists as the overseer and permitter, and who is known as the Supersoul. So, there are two Purushas. One Purusha is already explained. Purusha, Prakitistha, He. Purusha prakitastha hi bhumte prakiti jan guna. One Purusha, the living entity, Atma. And another Purusha is Paramatma. Sometimes the Mahabadi philosophers, they do not distinguish between Atma and Paramatma. But here it is. Distinctly explained by the Supreme Personality of Godhead that one Purusha is enjoying the fruits of his activities. Prakitistha uh, being influenced by the quality of the prakriti, material nature, uh, he is. Sadasad Janma Jivanishu. He is taking birth in different types and species of life. The another Purusha is there, who is Upodrashta. Upodrashta means his overseer. He is simply seeing how the other Purusha is working. And according to his karma, what? He is giving the result. He is the witness. If the living entity Purusha is working piously, then he is getting a different type of body. Janmai Sadya Sutta Sri, a nice body. <coughs> Uh, born in rich man's family or brahmana's family, scholar's family, janma, opulence, aishadya, uh, beauty, beautiful body, and very edu- good education. Uh, these distinctions are there because the Paramatma Purusha is observing the activities of the Jivatma Purusha. And according to his karma, according to his desire, he is giving a different type of body. Ishara Sarvam, another place it is said, Ishara Sarvam Bhutanam Riddhese Arjuna Tishtha. That Supreme Personality of Godhead as Paramatma, Antar Jami, is situated in everyone's heart. Brahman Sarva Bhutani Jantra Gurani Maya. And he is directing Maya to give him a particular type of body and he is moving with that body. Jantra, just like if you, if you get a car, according to the price you can get a car. You can get a Rolls Royce car, Chevrolet car, Cadillac car, or a Ford car, or uh, Ambassador car, or a Jeep. Uh, so as you can pay for it, you get a different type of car, and you can travel similarly according to your karma, good and bad. You are getting a type of body. There are eight million four hundred thousand species of body. You can get one of them 
and suffer and enjoy. Tathā dehāntara prāpti. You have to change your body. Next body, you can get a cat's body, a dog's body, a tree's body, or a demigod's body, or a Brahma's body, or an Indra's body, Indian body, American body, serpent body, insect body, bird's body, aquatic, any, any, there is no guarantee. That will be awarded to you according to your karma. Unfortunately, they do not know it. Just like animals. The animals do not know how to get a better body. Asitaṁ chaturāṁ saiva lokhāṁ sthāṁ jīva jāti. Brahmadvī purusāṁ prāpyam manusyam jarma purjāt. This is a statement in the form of Janma Purjaya, by evolution. We come to this human form of body, and in this human form of body we have got the chance to develop Krishna consciousness. And if you do not do that, then we are losing the opportunity, missing the opportunity. Next body I shall get according to my karma. But if you become Krishna conscious in this body, in this human form of body, and if you try to understand what is Krishna, then tapta deham punar jarmanaiti, then after giving up this body, you do not accept another material body. This is Krishna consciousness movement. We are trying to educate men to become Krishna conscious so that he may not have to accept another material body. So the other body which is described here, Paramātma. We are Atma and he is Paramātma. We are Ishara, he is Paramesara. Uh, we are not Paramesara. Uh, we are Brahma. We follow Brahma. This Param word is used. Uh, but sometimes men with little in their intelligence, they cannot distinguish between Paramatma and Atma, Paramesara and Ishara. Uh, <coughs> you are another. Uh, what is used? Bhokta Maheshara. We are not Bhokta. We are trying to become Bhokta or enjoy, but we are becoming baffled. It is not possible. We cannot become Bhokta. Uh, we can become uh, being enjoyed, predominated not the predominator. It's like one thing is enjoyer and the other is enjoyer. The Supreme Law is the enjoyer. Bhokkāraṁ jakkutamasāṁ sarva lūpa maheśvaraṁ. The same word again. Maheśvaraṁ. Mahāiśvaraṁ. Mahā means great. Ishara means controller. So we can control a few men, but Maheshara means he controls all living entities. Nitya nityana anchitana chitana na. We may be very proud of controlling a factory, a few thousands of workers, but we are not Maheshara. Maheshara is Krishna, Supreme Personality of Godhead, who is in his Paramatma feature, is situated in every body. Paramatma it is cha opi upta dehi nasmin, asmin deh. 
with in this body it is also discussed that uh uh what is that sarvodeshu bharat what is that that is a all right so paramatma there are two souls khetrak khetra khetrakga the original constants i think in this chapter khetrakam jo bhi maan vidhi sarvadehi subhar krishna says that i am also khetra the body is khetra and the soul is khetra ga one who knows about the body is like you have got your body i have got my body and i know it is my body you know it is your body just like your apartment your living room similarly there is another partner Uh, that is Krishna, Paramatma. Kitra kancha bhi maagri. I can take care of my body. I am the owner of this body. But Krishna is the owner of all bodies. Just like the landlord and the tenant. The tenant is the occupier, and the landlord is the owner. Similarly. I am the occupier of this body, and Krishna, Paramatma, He is the owner of this body. This is knowledge. I am not the owner of this body. Uh, therefore, Krishna's another name is Rishi Kesha. Rishi means the senses. We are claiming this is my hand. But this is not my hand. This is Krishna's hand. Uh, the same thing. The tenant may occupy the room, but he is not the owner of the room. Owner is different person. Similarly, we may occupy this body or any body, but we are not owner of this body. As soon as we know. That I am not owner of this body. I am the occupier of this body. That is knowledge. We are falsely claiming that we are owner of the body. We are not owner of the body. Uh, I cannot therefore repair anything if any part of my limb of my body goes wrong. I do not know how to repair it. But Krishna can do it because he is the owner. ऋषिकेश ऋषिकेशिकेना ऋषिकेश सेवन भक्ति यू हैव टू पे टू दि ओनर सिमिलरली वी हैव टू सर कृष्ण फॉर ऑक्युपाइंग दिस बोल दैट इज डिवोशन यज्ञार्थ कर्म न थ्रू लोक एवं कर्म मतलब बिकॉज एट इज ऑल्सो एक्सप्लेन सर्वतो पानी पादस्त सर्वतो पानी पादस्त मीन्स एवरी वे द सुप्रीम लॉर्ड हैज गॉट हिज हैंड्स एंड लेग्स सो वट इज दैट हाउ यू हैज गॉट हैंड्स एंड लेग्स Your hands, my hands, their hands are Krishna. Therefore, it should be used for Krishna, just like your hand. I was just claiming this is my hand. This hand is used for my service. So, if you uh, want to eat something, uh, you use your hand for eating, but for others. Eating, you don't use your hand. He uses his own. This is an example. 
So all these hands and legs belong to Krishna. It should be used for Krishna. That is called bhakti. Rishikena Rishikesha Sevanam Bhakti Chati. If you don't use uh, that, that is uh, against the laws of nature. So Upadrishtya Anubhanta. Krishna, the Supersoul, is Anubhanta. Anubhanta means without his permission he cannot do anything. He uh, cannot do anything. Because everything belongs to Krishna. How you can use something without permission? So Anubhanta. Uh, and Upadrashta. Just like father and son, little child. Uh, he wants to do something and wants permission from the father or the mother. And he gives. In our childhood I remember that even for going to the privy, I wanted permission of my mother. Can I go? That is nature. That is nature. Mother is not restricting me. Still I am asking the permission of mother. Can I go? Can I go? I remember it. This is natural. <clears throat> Similarly, we cannot do anything without the permission of the super soul within the heart. Sarvasta chaham ridhisanni vishtya matta smiti jnana mapuhana without permission. Therefore, he is anubhanta. So, when you do something wrong, how Krishna as Antajjani, as Paramatma gives permission. This is, this question may be raised, but he gives permission when I do something wrong, because I cannot do anything without his permission. But he gives me permission. As a karanam guna sangasya, that is already explained. Purusha prakitista hi bhumte prakitijana guna Karanam guna sangha asya sadasar janma jorishu. He can give you permission, but the enjoyment and suffering will have to be taken by you. You insist permission. I want to do this. And without permission you cannot do it. Therefore Krishna gives you all life to do it, but at your risk. Krishna does not want that you should do it, but you want to do it, therefore he gives permission. He wants sarva dharma and paritajya mami kamsaro. That is his demand. But your demand is different. That I shall not surrender, sir. I want to do this. All right, you do it at your own this. But if you follow the instruction of Krishna, then he takes charge of you. Aham kva sarva pāve bhava kaisa. So you do pāp or punna, you enjoy the effect. But when you follow the instruction of Krishna, there is no such pāp or punna. It is uh, transcendental. Brahma, that is called Brahma. And above the gunas, sakunan samutitta etan brahma bhūyāya kal. Mancha bhyani chārini bhakti jogi na jāsīva. Krishna says, anyone who is engaged in rendering service unto me, bhakti jogi na, sakunan samutitta etan brahma bhūyāya kal. He is not affected by the activities. He is immune from the result of all activities. Many places it is said, Jagyārte karma natra lūpayam karma bandha. 
If you want to do for your own satisfaction, Krishna will give you permission. But you will have to enjoy or suffer the effects. Karma Nada Yonetrinu. It is very simple to understand. So therefore Krishna is called Anuvanta, giving permission. Yes, you can take. You can do it. Anuvanta Upadrashta. And so far our activities are concerned. Uh, this is also explained in the Upanishad that there are two birds in this tree body. One is observing and another is enjoying. So the uh, observing bird is the Paramatma, Krishna. He is He is simply seeing your activities, how you are doing, and giving the effect. Anuvanta. Uh, he does not want it. Uh, what you are doing now, Krishna does not want it. But because he want it persistently to do it, so he needs permission. Because without his permission you cannot do it. This is the condition. Bhakta. He is the maintainer. Uh, he cannot get anything without his mercy. Uh, there may be ample supply of necessities of life by the grace of Krishna, and there may be scarcity. Uh, so they are now complaining about overpopulation. There is no question of overpopulation. Krishna is quite competent, able to maintain everyone. But as you become godless, as you become disobedient to the laws of God, there will be restriction. You cannot have full supply of necessities of life. That time has already come. All these rascals, godless rascals, uh, they are now suffering. The only remedy is to become devout. He is bhakta. He can maintain many millions. There is no question of overpopulation. He can maintain bhakta. But nature will not supply. Nature will restrict supply if you become godless. Therefore nature is very strong, strict. David jesa gunamai mamo maya duruttaya. Elastic supply. So in this Kaliju, people are degrading, and the supply also will be reduced. There will be no supply of milk, there will be no supply of sugar, that is stated in the Srimad Bhagavad. There will be no supply of rice, no supply of wheat. Now you can get black market, white market, but time is coming when there will be no supply. Completely. Uh, he will be forced to eat this beef. Now it is opening beef shop, big, big, big shop. This time has already come gradually and it will be increasing. Unless you take to Krishna consciousness, Kittanadeva Krishna Samukta Sangha Parampare, Kalau Dosa Nidhi Raja Nasti Dhika Mahan. This Kalijo is suffering. So you cannot get comfortable life in this Kali being godless. Uh, because Kali means godless. Mandas Mandu Matri. Mandu Bhagya Jivadhuta. So therefore everyone should take to Krishna consciousness to save himself from the onslaught of Kali which will increase day by day. Thank you very much. Yeah, I'm